Welcome to your own local hosting server video series. What I'd like to show you in the videos that you're getting ready to watch is how to install a web server on your local computer. Okay, and you know many of you have asked about this, what is the easiest way to work with WordPress and files like that. You know, many of us will do themes and we'll do plugins and all of that, and we don't want to actually have to upload them to our website. Then go check them out, then come back, and plus you don't want to try out things on a working WordPress install or a working site. You'd like to actually work on it and see how it looks before you actually implement it. And this is a great way to do that, and a very simple one. And point out right off the bat now, this is for a Windows platform and you can use it on the 32-bit or the 64-bit and it, it'll work on I've had it working on XP Vista Windows 7 and I'm not sure how far it goes back I know there are versions for even Windows me and earlier but uh, we're pretty much a little bit more current than that right so and what we're going to do is show you in step by step and how to set this up so let's go ahead and get started right off the bat here. The first thing we need to do is install the software. And there's in the folder that you uh, downloaded the videos in, there's actually a software folder for this. And it will also give you a link to make sure you've got the latest version. You'll notice that uh, I've already got the screen pulled up here. And this is what it's going to look like on your, in your local machine here. And you know you just pull it up in a web browser just like you would on the internet and you know this is actually you could run this you could actually run a a whole website off your local machine through the internet but this is actually designed and what the video series is covering is to do it what we call in-house so you can do your testing let's go ahead and get started and get everything installed First thing you got to do is, of course, is install the software. And there is a resource a text guide with uh, links to make sure this is the latest version. But uh, this is right now the latest. First thing you got to do is run. And we've always got Windows is picky here. We'll have to get a yes, we want to allow, of course. It's going to pop right up. We're going to do a next. And of course you accept go ahead and read over it it doesn't install anything funky on your machine nothing to worry about there do a next okay now this is an important step i want you to stop and think um, if you're like if you're like me you've got more than one hard drive and you need to decide now where you want to install this if you've got one hard drive it's not going to be very hard to, to uh, figure out but uh, i've got a few so i'm going to i've already got it installed on one but to show you how to install it i'm going to install it on a separate one so what we'll do is we'll browse and it's going to bring up your actual hard drives here if you've got more than one you choose whatever you would like i'll go ahead and do the d drive here for this video tutorial and we'll do the next all right now here's another one uh, the quick launch icon I highly recommend so you can always find it you've got the option of starting it up every time Windows starts I don't do that and a lot of people don't They only start it when they need it that's totally up to you and of course desktop icons the same I don't like to clutter up my desktop so I'm gonna leave it checked just like that do the next everything's there going to do the install pause it unpause it so you can see you're going to get this extract and it'll, it'll take a little while to make the video series shorter I'm going to pre-pause the video okay I've got this pop-up here uh, Firefox has been detected and would you like to use it as your default browser for the server now if you don't have Firefox of course you're not going to get this message but I highly recommend Firefox it's very very uh, fast and versatile so it's totally up to you but yes in this case I've got Firefox and I want that okay now a lot of Windows machines especially the you know Vista uh, well, XP also and Windows 7 especially you're going to get this pop-up here okay you do not want to block any of the features of this or you're going to have problems and then going back and 
<laughs> trying to figure it all out is going to be a real plain, uh, pain. So you want to unblock it. And of course, like I said, I'm on a private network. I'm not worried about anybody using this, but anybody local on my network. So I want to do an unblock. Okay, now on your mail, you're not going to be using it for mail. And I'm not going to cover it in this video series. You could use it for email, but uh, that's just, I'm not going to even show it here. That's a good way for uh, spammers to use the machine to send out unwanted email. Not even going to cover it. You're not going to be using it. So we're just going to leave it just like that is. Okay. And you want to go ahead and click the uh, button here to launch it and do a finish. Okay. Now we're all set up and ready to go. So we'll do here, let me pull this down for the moment. And if everything went correctly, and there's no reason that it shouldn't have, if you followed along there and did as I told you, you can either type in HTTP or just plain old local server or local host, I'm sorry. Oh, I need to restart it. Hold on just a second. My bad there. Okay. Now we've got it started. As I went ahead and messing around there and closed it on me. And, uh, you know, there's always going to something go wrong in these videos. But I did close it and I had to restart it. And if you recall, I told you to uh, put it down in your quick launch. That's all you got to do. Of course, you can go to your start menu and go to WAMP and start it there. Okay. So if everything went right, you're going to be seeing this screen. Let's go ahead and pull this back up, get more screen area there, more real estate. You're going to be seeing all this information. It doesn't mean a whole lot to you at this point. It's just telling you what actually is installed, your Apache and your PHP versions. Uh, those that's not familiar with all that, it's not really important unless you're using programs that need a certain version of PHP. I always like to stay with the latest, especially working with, uh, you know, WordPress and such. So here you go. There's a information a lot of you are going to understand and you're going to see stuff that looks familiar to you. There's your actual, uh, the PHP information and the server information. I'm not going to go through all of it and explain it, but uh, it, everything is there and you can see what's installed and everything else. Okay, and good old PHP admin. We're going to be getting into that shortly when we install WordPress. Okay, so we've got the backbone installed. What we need to do now is do a little tweaking and get WordPress installed. I'll see you in the next video.